Hey, what's up, kings and queens? J. Mr. Real Estate Morrison, a.k.a. Young Malcolm. And this is Wake Up Part 6. I'm not even going to scream wake up. Without all the howling and yelling, I want to address the issues going on in our community right now. Stemming from how the King Colin Kaepernick kicked it off and brought hella light to our oppression and our injustice. So I'm going to say it like this, break it down real simple for you. Real simple, kings and queens. Black man, black woman. If the same things that was happening today to Africans in America, our people, if the same things was happening to Italian men and women and children, them Italian boys would stand up. If the same things happened today to black people, our people, African people in America, was happening to Japanese Americans, if they was getting locked up at an alarming rate, if they was getting sent to prison working for 20 cents a day, if they was getting targeted by police, killed by police, police getting off, longer sentences than everybody else, unequal school systems, them Japanese boys would stand up. If the same thing was happening today to Africans in America, was happening to Irish people in America, them Irish boys would stand up. They protect their community. If the same thing's happening today, was happening to, to Russians, or Italians, or Greeks, or pick a country anywhere, nationality anywhere, was happening to their people, them people would stand up. They would not take, they, they, would, they would not take it light that a Tamir Rice could be murdered like that, an Eric Garner could be murdered like that. They get shipped off to prison. And I want to put you on a game, right? Quick little history lesson. When they had that 13th Amendment that said we were freed, if you read your 13th Amendment, it says slavery is abolished in America except you commit a crime. And it says it's abolished completely. It said except you commit a crime. And then that same year, they created the convict leasing system, they created black codes, and they made all these crazy laws that made it illegal for Africans to do this, illegal for Africans to do that. And then they would lock us up and lease us back to plantations. Fast forward to 2016. It's the same thing. They make biased policies, laws, that target our lifestyle, that target our ghettos that they put us in. They put us in the ghettos through government redlining. Look it up. They put us in Chicago. They put uneducated and poor people whose spirits was broken from an enslavement, a 300 year enslavement, didn't repair us and said, yo, y'all fend for yourself. We gonna put y'all in these little ghettos and now you act crazy, act wild, violence, trying to fend for yourself, trying to eat. We gonna lock you back up so we can lease you out to the plantations, lease you to the corporations. Yo, this the game, this is the oppression. This is a second class citizenship. That's why I'm all riled up. That's why I'm saying NFL players stand up, NBA players stand up. I'm giving y'all what's going on with us. They put a system in place to keep locking up and enslaving the Africans for our free and cheap labor. This country is a theme for our muscle, for our labor. This is why it's unequal. This is why they, our school system is unequal. This is why they don't teach us about real estate and finances. This is why they feed us this bad food and all these crazy things we can talk about, but it's a narrow message in. The whole point is, yo, they got biased policies. That means the laws are set up unfair against us. They got biased sentencing, meaning that we get sentenced longer than everybody else. A drug offender, a black drug offender, gets sentenced longer than a European American sex offender. And then they got biased policing. The police target us and you know this. This is why you be scared when a cop get behind your heart start beating even if you ain't doing nothing wrong. It's that, that, that anxiety is called oppression. It's biased policing. That biased policing is all to target the Africans. Because remember, James Coney, the FBI director, said himself, and the guy Breton out of, uh, out of uh, the New York Police Department said himself, the origins of policing came from slave catching. The purpose of policing is to catch the Africans. So you can lock them up with our biased laws and send their ass to jail so they can work for us. This is why we saying wake up. This is why we saying stand up or sit for justice. NFL, it's your time. Y'all black kings and queens, yo. Do it for Markin. Do it for Martin. Marcus, Malcolm, Martin, Minister Farrakhan, all who stood before us. Do it for our little girls and our little boys. Y'all got the voice, y'all got the juice, King. I'm doing my part the best I can. I left one of the biggest real estate companies in the world, Sotheby's International Realty. One of the biggest as a celebrity realtor on NBC doing my thing. I walked away because they had a problem with me standing up for my people. God damn, yo, have some balls, yo. Be about yourself. We're that warrior spirit. That African DNA is why you so big and athletic and why you in that goddamn NFL. It's the African roots in you. Ain't no European in you. It ain't no American in you. It's the African in you. Stand up for your people. The Italian boys, they, they community is going through the same thing that we going through, they stand up. 
What makes you weaker than them? Come on, King, wake up, stand up. Young Malcolm, we out. One love.